What is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ash Grey. Last episode we got our very first Pokemon from Professor Rook. We got Pikachu because we woke up a little bit too late and couldn't get a Charmander, Bulbasaur or Squirtle. And then we got attacked by so many Spearows, stole Misty's bike to escape. And then it ended off seeing ho which was pretty awesome and there is Officer Jenny. Your Pokemon's in bad shape here, let me show you where the Pokemon Center is. Oh, isn't that nice of you? So in today's episode, I'm going to try and get all the way to Pewter City, so what's going to happen is Team Rocket should be in the Pokemon Center, we should be able to capture two Pokemon. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but you might know already. So let's head inside, and now I've got you! I know I'd find you here. Look what you did to my bike! It was destroyed by lightning when you stole it! You'll pay for this someday, kid. Did Ash ever pay uh, Misty back for the bike? I don't actually remember. No, I think he might have done. I think he might have bought her a new bike when he left, like maybe for Hoenn or something, I, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure he did at some point. Uh oh. Don't be frightened, little boy. Allow us to introduce ourselves. To protect the world from devastation. To unite all peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team Rocket, bless up at the speed of light! Surrender now or prepare to fight. Yes! That's right! Alright, so we gotta battle Jesse and James. This is gonna be fun. Level 5 Ekans, that should be fine. Pikachu should. Pi yeah, Pikachu should obey us now. So, you're gonna stop these thieves yourself? And this is your first battle? Let me help you. Actually, I've battled so many Spearows, so... A little bit of a tutorial, so we're going to quickly skip some of this and intimidate. That's fine. Let's go for a Thunder Shock. That's not much damage. And a Leer, that's going to hurt a little bit. That's fine. Take you out. Next, the Coffin. Come on, grow level 6. We could use that extra level, and there we go. Very nice. And got Tail Whip. And a coughing. Come on, Thunder Shock, you know, a crit or paralyze or anything. Oh god, this coffin's probably gonna kill me. Poison gas, that's fine. One more Thunder Shock and we should beat Team Rocket. Hey, there we go. Very nice. And we're level 7 and now we've got poisoned after uh beating the coughing. We wasn't poisoned when I killed it, was I? I think it just appeared as soon as I grew a level. <laughs> if you win, you earn prize money, yep. That's fine. No matter! Now let's steal the center's Pokemon. Pikachu appeared from his Pokeball? That measly Pikachu can't stop Team Rocket. What? No! Team Rocket is blasting off again! Well, not again, it's the first time they're blasting off. <laughs> I remember in this episode as well, there's um... I think it's called Pika Power. Like the power goes out in the Pokemon Center and they get, they got like a whole wheel of Pikachu just kind of spinning around. <laughs> oh my god, that was hilarious. Alright, so let's head to Viridian Forest and we can capture a few Pokemon. Wait, how many balls do I have? I might quickly buy a few more and that's not the uh, right button. Uh, and okay, we want to press this one. And bag. We have five Pokeballs. Yeah, I'm going to buy a few more. Just in case. Because we got to capture two Pokemon and it might be a little bit difficult. And there's the Mart looking really different. Hello, my good man. I would like... I'll get five Pokeballs. A few potions. Get five potions. That should do. And three antidotes. And two Paralyzed Heals. That should uh, do. Let's hit the Viridian Forest. And we could... Potentially capture two Pokemon. I'm going to try and make sure I capture them because we need a certain Pokemon for a uh, certain event. So that'd be pretty cool. And here we are, Viridian Forest. So we want to capture a Caterpie. That's exactly what we want. So let's go for a Thunder Shock. Don't kill it. Very nice. Nice static as well, gonna make it easier to capture. Go, Pokeball! We got it, we got it, we got it. Hey, and we got Caterpie. 
what to call Caterpie. I don't know, I always like to call my uh, Butterfreeze Dave. I always think of like, I don't know, Butterfree is that kind of builder sort of guy. Get that bloke come into your house to fix the washing machine or something. He's like, you're right, I'm Dave. How you doing? And we need to capture one more Pokemon. And this one is going to be a little bit better. And we're going to get... Not a Metapod, but I should do a little bit of training on the way. Because we're going to have to battle uh, Team Rocket again very soon. And I found a Pokeball. That's very nice. Still haven't found this Pokemon we're looking for, which uh, maybe it'll appear at some point. So let's just uh, start heading forward because all I can find are Caterpies and Metapods and Weedles. More Caterpies, but I'm doing a little bit of grinding on the way because we need to grow a few levels, which is always nice. There we go, Pidgeotto level 7. This is what we're after. We want to get this bad boy. Let's go for a Thunder Wave. I'm gonna go straight for a Pokeball because I think a Thundershock might kill you. No! I'm gonna switch into Dave. And Dave can go for a few tackles. Go on, Dave! Dave's got this! Dave is a complete bro. And we got Pidgeotto! Nice! So these were Ash's first three Pokemon, which is very nice. So let's nickname you. And call you Sky. I like that name. Right, I'm gonna quickly heal up, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back, nice and healed up. And as soon as I turn around, we encounter a Pidgey. Let's quickly take this out, and then we're gonna start making our way through the forest. And we're going to battle Team Rocket very soon. But I don't know where they are. Also, we've got a pretty cool event going to happen soon, but a bit later on, we're going to need a Metapod. That's after we beat Team Rocket, though. So, this isn't the right way to go, but we found a potion. That's always helpful. Uh, let's head left. Pidgeotto is going to absolutely destroy everything in this... Uh, forest. Just keep gusting. Gust, gust, and gust some more. Okay, I think we want to go up this bit. Okay, there we go. Got a few trainers up here. Let's battle these guys. Hey, are you lost in the forest too? Uh, a little bit. It's a lot different than uh, what Viridian Forest normally looks like on the Pokemon games, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty lost. Oh, string shot. Too powerful. Well, I don't know how we're going to beat Team Rocket because on the anime, I'm pretty sure Ash beat Team Rocket with a uh, Caterpie using a String Shot. Wait, do you heal my Pokemon? Oh, nice. So I guess Team Rocket must be the next battle if we're going to heal up right there. There we go. Ahaha, <laughs> so we meet again. We're here to get your Pokemon. Hand over that Pikachu. That Pikachu is exceedingly rare. Its power surpasses its evolutionary level. Hand it over or prepare to fight. Well, it looks like we're going to battle. So I'm pretty sure like Pikachu gets taken out and then Pidgeotto gets taken out, then Caterpie just comes and saves the day, then evolves. It's a double battle, nice. Well hopefully Caterpie can uh, evolve after this. I'm gonna go for a gust and then just tackle. Oh come on Dave! Oh you poisoned Dave. I'm gonna switch Dave out. Because he can't die. I need him to uh, can't be switched. Okay, that's not good. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't die with uh Nope, there you go, I tried. I was gonna keep him alive. But after this battle, I want to go heal up, I'll make sure uh, I evolve Dave into a Metapod for the next battle, which, uh, yeah. This is pretty awesome. This, I think this series is actually pretty cool because if you haven't seen the Pokemon anime, it's kind of, you get to see the first season, but if you do, if you have seen it, you know what's gonna happen and I think it's pretty cool. Jesse and James didn't look that bad in this game. It's time, it's time Team Rocket blasted off. You may have won this round, but we'll be back. All right, so I'm gonna quickly, actually I don't have to heal up because it's just there. All right, I'm gonna quickly train up uh, Caterpie, so I'll see you when he's about to evolve. Okay, so Dave is evolving.
Okay, there we go. Metapod, learn Harden. Alright, let's quickly heal him up. And let's uh, lead off with Pidgeotto again. And continue on through the forest. Taking out everything we see for that little bit of extra XP. Oh, we want to go down there. There's a little house right there. I wonder who's in that house. Oh, there he is. Well, I assume this is the guy because he's a uh, bug catcher trainer dude. Greetings! I am addressing the Pokemon trainer who come from Pallet. And I found you at last. I am Samurai. Let's have a Pokemon match and see who's triumphs. And we got the samurai guy who doesn't really look like a samurai much, but he's got a pincer, which is pretty awesome. Level 10, damn. And he has a metapod as well. And we're going to have a metapod versus metapod battle. Who can harden faster? That is basically the, uh, <laughs> the goal. And level 13, nice. Learn quick attack and metapod versus my metapod. Oh god, his is a uh, higher level. Keep. Tackling and got a speed through because he's just gonna keep going for a. No, okay. He goes for tackle as well. I'm gonna harden up as well. Yeah! Keep hardening! Okay. More tackles! This is taking so long! There we go, finally beaten. Do you hear that buzzing? Uh oh. Beedrill Swarm approaches! Quick! Get into my cabin! Let's run! A group of wild Beedrill is attacking! Maybe Metapod's hard on attack can prote help protect you! Uh, there's Metapod. That's why we need Metapod. Go Metapod! Beedrill stole my Metapod! No! <laughs> uh oh. Okay, let's run to the cabin. Find out what we gotta do. Hope you learned your lesson, novice. You're letting that Weedle escape almost cost our lives. The other trainers from Pallet would never be so irresponsible. I had three matches with Pallet trainers. Those trainers really knew how to raise Pokemon. Though I lost, I've been training to face the next trainer from Pallet. But you proved to be only a novice. Now rest your Pokemon and leave my cabin. That's kinda rude, man. And I'm gonna take your antidote. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Look, there's my Metapod! How you doing, buddy? Dave! So there you are! Quick, get in your Pokeball! Uh-oh. What? The Pod Beedrill that stole Dave is attacking in a fury! So now we got to battle Beedrill! Lots and lots of Beedrills. Well, just the one. And I'm gonna switch into my Dave, because Dave is supposed to uh, be a Butterfree after beating a Beedrill. We're gonna end up losing critical hit, that sucks. Okay, back into Sky. We can head all the way. Oh god. Did you see that Beedrill swarm before? I could hear the buzzing all the way out here. Gotta battle this dude. I'm gonna switch into Metapod and switch back out. Cause I need the XP. Because we need a Butterfree right now. One down. Caterpie, let's go into my Metapod. We'll sell. He probably can take out 5 HP in a tackle, so I'm going to switch back. Back and forth, back and forth. And then back in the sky. Oh god. There we go, nice and easy. Day level 9. I'm going to quickly train up Dave to a Butterfree, so I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to be a Butterfree. Yay, learn sleep powder. That's always good. Well, I'm going to end this part right here. And next episode, we're going to head to Pewter City. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.